I would like to thank Lucas for supporting this channel through Patreon. Um, so thank you very much. And let, with that out of the way, let's go straight into the video. Hello fellow compatriots, this is your host, Tribjohn here, and welcome to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Umarak the Hunter. Yes, that's right. So it has all the features as the original Umarak set with more. Yes, that's right. It has a new gear function. Well, several new gear functions up to about two approximately. Uh, while still having all the old functions down to even the Shadow Trap being able to detect. By the way, be sure to go ahead and support me on Patreon if you want to go ahead and see videos a week early in advance. Yes, that's right. You can watch videos a week early. Uh, absolutely free. You don't have to pay for anything. Um, yeah, it's free. But anyways, that's a bit it. Well, anyways, that is all for now. So without further ado, let's go straight into it. All right, let's go straight into articulation. So, starting with the ankles, you got backward movement this far, so not so bad. Forward movement that much, pretty good range. And despite this piston mechanism going on, you've got a pretty good ankle rocker at either side. Uh, the knees, um, they can bend a 90 degrees, uh, which is nice. So you got 90 degree bend there. Um, depending on how you view it. Um, the legs, um, ball joint here, so you got, do the full splits, you got your forward, you got your back. Um, he also has a waist articulation, we'll get into that later. Ball joint at the head. And you got three ball joints, each in, both in each arm. Now to get into the function, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, take out the blade, which is on the side over here. So go ahead, do that, uh, and attach the handle right over there and attach that right over there. Twist this so that it's like that. And you got a slashing a motion right there so let me go ahead and yeah his arm and his head stays stationary during the entire swinging period so he has a arm swing function and it's pretty clean all the way in the back like there's no exposed like gears or anything like that you know, you can still get your arm swing function, just twist the waist and you're good to go. Um, and you still have the connection point for um, the unification so you can put any creature on him um, just fine. And we can just go ahead and take this off and do that. Now, now to go into the next function, because he has multiple of them. I'm going to go over like the the most interesting functions and then I'm going to go into the gimmicks. So the next function, funny enough, is um, the bow. The bow is dual function and, and it includes a um, mega blaster. Um, that's the best way I can describe it. So uh, he can hold it like you saw in the beginning. Uh, uh, this is loose and free spinning, as you can clearly tell, so he can just hold it just fine. And, of course, you can shoot the studs out of here. Now, he has another gimmick as well. So, in order to get to that, you remove this, and you remove the axle. Now, how this works is he can't really do it with... Um, really hold it with this function per se, but um, it's something you can do. So you pull this back, and yes, you saw that, and he does the firing motion. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that is nice and loose, and it should. Should 
shoot, which it did. <laughs> um, so it got like a bow, uh, a bow mechanism that allows it to um, do that. So just barely have it in there. Um, and I'll do it like this so you guys can just align it just right. Ugh. It's best to have it somewhat tabbed in, you know, just lightly. Um, because you don't want too much of a hard connection on this thing when it shoots. But it does have that um, bow mechanism. Now, if you don't want the blaster in there, which isn't the best, you can still do this. Um, so, it still has that function in there, that functionality. Um, to allow for just your standard um, shooty shoots if you want to do the, the bow pullback um, kind of thing you can do that and you know if you just want everything back the way it was you just simply just tab everything on and call it good as new so there you go and he can hold it you know if you want if you want them to. You've got a connection here and a connection here. Now he has another function. You go like, oh my gosh, how many functions does this guy have? Remember the shadow trap. Well, he can do that too. So only thing you had to do is remove the shoulders. Yep, you remove the shoulders just like that. And we remove that right there. Now, with these in place, you go ahead, take this one out, you put it on the other side, and you have this as well. So you go ahead, and you take these, you put them together, you slide that through, so you automatically have a joint, so you're not wasting any parts when you're making this thing, um, which is the nicest thing you can possibly have, and you got that, it's not ratcheted, but it's it's there and you got that and then the only thing I had to do is just take off the toes Which he's missing one toe. I'm aware of that. I know he's missing a toe. I can't find it for the life of me I cannot find his toe <laughs> uh, But you can get these There and then was ah you got that, and with one of the bullets, if you still wanted to, you can just add an eye right in there. So, yeah. He can make a shadow trap with the parts without having any left over. Um, just at the side. So, that is, like, truly amazing that he can actually pull that off as is and still have, like, the chain and everything. You know, he... It, it's, a, it's impressive that he can do all this stuff. And let's look, take a look at him without that. Um, so he's still very clean. You got the shoulders here. You got the chest detailing. You know, it's smooth. It's clean. Um, even the sides are clean. I mean, there's hardly any kibble or anything. Like, everything is well put together. Um, now the gear, you actually kind of have to bend his neck back, and you can kind of see the gear in there. It's one of those half gears, you know, so it's very tight and compact in there. It's hard to tell that, hard to tell that the gear is there. And, you know, to put everything back, <laughs> uh, you just go ahead and disconnect all of this. Uh, which I might cut. I might cut part of it. Um, I'm only going to show you how to attach the shoulders and then I'll just cut it from there. Uh, because you guys don't want to see this continuing over and over like twice in a row. You, like you guys seen it once already. Uh, but you guys kind of didn't see the shoulder connection. So I'm going to be doing that. So. Uh, we got that. So you want this joint to be like there. 
and then another to be like that. So you want one that's inside and one that's outside. The one that's outside goes over here. That one goes there, and the other one that's inside Actually, I think it went... Yeah, yeah, it went something like this. There we go. So that's the orientation you want. Like that. And then... You get this connection. Put that there. Put this on this side. Right over here. Connect that, and you're done. And you connect that right in here. And then you're done. And that's how the shoulders are connected. All right, so let's go into size comparison to go ahead and see how big Umarak actually is. Here he is compared to Kupaka, Master of Ice. So you get a size comparison there. Here he is compared to Golly, Master of Water. So you get a size comparison there as well. Here he is to Good Guy, the Chess of Chats. He will be your husband. And here is Bad Guy, and he will kill your husband. And here he is compared to Slicer Torch. And here he is compared to a Nika build. And yeah, that's pretty much Umarak right there for you. Which is a pretty nice build, all in all. And would highly recommend. I mean, you can still pose him even with the function. Uh, the function kind of helps with posing. But yeah, that is Umarak for you right then and there. But I believe that is a bit all for now uh, for this review. I hope you all enjoyed. If you want to go ahead and check me out in any social media, the links to those are in the description down below. Um, be sure to go ahead and check that out. And also, if you want to see videos a week early, in advance absolutely for free be sure to check that out in the description down below check out patreon you will not be disappointed but that's about it so let me know in the comments what you think about umarak the hunter and like always i'll see you all next time bye guys